But we do begin with Abby Wambaugh, the Olympic gold medalist, World Cup soccer champ, is apologizing this morning and facing new fallout after her DUI arrest this weekend. ABC's Ryan Smith here with the story. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, George. She is one of the greatest soccer players of all time, the world record holder for international play goals among women and men. But just months after retiring at the top of her game, a DUI landing Wabuck in cuffs and controversy. This morning, a fall from grace for one of U.S. soccer's biggest stars. Her final game for the United States women's national team. Just four months after hanging up jersey number 20, Captain Abby Wambach arrested for driving under the influence Saturday night. Stopped for running a red light, failing a field sobriety test. The retired 35-year-old World Cup winner swiftly releasing a statement on her Facebook account, taking responsibility for her actions. This is all on me. I promise that I will do whatever it takes to ensure that my horrible mistake is never repeated. I am so sorry to my family, friends, fans, and those that look to follow a better example. But the fallout from the arrest rolling in this morning. Everything that you do is a statement about who you are. Minnie Cooper, this who has featured Wambach in their ads, reportedly pulling those commercials and re-evaluating its association with the star. I want to leave a legacy where the ball keeps rolling forward. The world's leading scorer for both women and men also dealing with fallout from the U.S. men's soccer team. U.S. men's national team midfielder Alejandro Bedoya tweeting, must have been a foreign American player's fault, riffing off Wambach's criticism of the men's team coach in December. The way that he has changed and brought in a bunch of these foreign guys, it's just not something that I believe in wholeheartedly. Men's forward Josie Altidore chiming in too. Writing, should have used one of the team vans, LOL. Apparently referring to women's soccer goalie Hope Solo, who was stopped last January with her husband while driving an official U.S. soccer van. Her husband charged with DUI. This Twitter spat, not the first sign of tension between the men's and women's U.S. soccer teams recently. Just last week, five U.S. superstars filing a federal complaint against U.S. soccer, alleging they're paid nearly four times less than the men's team. As for Wambuck, Portland police describing her as, quote, polite and cooperative during her arrest. And after processing, they released the star on her own recognizance. But a lot of controversy she's yeah, facing, though. Good for her to step forward and apologize. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ryan.